What's up guys and welcome back to the video. I hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Here we go. Virtual reality, cryonics, gene therapy, CRISPR gene editing, artificial intelligence, smartphones, smartwatches, smart rings, and even space colonization all have one thing in common. They are all the product of this idea known as transhumanism. Transhumanism is a philosophy that explores human transcendence above or beyond our biological limitations through technological and philosophical evolution. Humanism by itself was a major part of the Renaissance era. You know, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, that time period. But these ideas weren't created during the Renaissance. In fact, the word Renaissance means rebirth. But what is it the rebirth of? Well, most of the new Renaissance ideas are derived from the ancient Greek and Roman empires. These ideas include things like architecture, philosophy, monetary systems, paintings, statues, etc. The end goal of transhumanism is basically to prevent death. From as far back as we can remember, mankind has tried to escape this biological curse that's been placed upon us. For example, in Norse mythology, it was the eating of the golden apples. In Greek mythology, it was the eating of something called ambrosia. In Chinese mythology, it was the eating of the peaches of immortality. And in the Middle Ages, it was the fountain of youth. But the point is, humans want to live forever, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Humans, again, throughout history have tried their best to immortalize themselves through the creation of books, paintings, statues, kingdoms, and more. But many people don't truly realize how ancient this idea of transhumanism really is. It goes back way before the Romans and the Greeks. In fact, it goes all the way back, literally, to the beginning of time. Literally, the very beginning. This idea goes all the way back to when Satan fell from heaven. The book of Isaiah tells us, how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet you shall be brought down to Sheol. To the lowest depths of the pit. The book of Ezekiel also says, You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created. If you're lost, this is the Bible talking about Satan. This is Satan in his original form, known as Lucifer. Continuing the Ezekiel passage, it says, till iniquity was found in you. Iniquity is evil. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence within, and you sinned. Therefore, I cast you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. So in essence, Satan wanted to be like God. And he influenced humanity with this exact same idea after he fell from heaven. So not only does transhumanism appear in the fall of Satan, it also appears in the fall of mankind. Genesis 3.5 tells us, For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Who is this talking? This is Satan, the ancient serpent, speaking to Eve deceiving her into eating the apple, or whatever the fruit was. So I mean, if this isn't exactly what transhumanism is, then I don't know. Little did Adam and Eve know this was a lie and a counterfeit to the truth. So from the very beginning of time, up until the very present day, mankind has been obsessed with this idea and has fallen for the same lie that was told to our ancient parents. It kind of makes you wonder why the Apple Corporation logo is a half-bitten apple. In a way, it symbolizes humanity's sin against God. So why am I telling you all this information? Well, I'm trying to get you to understand that as a human on this earth, you will never escape death. 
Death is inevitable and cannot be stopped unless done so through divine intervention. Although we may be able to increase our longevity on earth, we will never be immortal in our current fleshly bodies. However, the Bible does say that one day we will put on immortality. But why do we even have to die in the first place? I mean, is it bad that we want to live forever? Well, Romans 5.12 says, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men, because all sinned. For the people that don't know what I'm talking about, Adam and Eve were expelled from the Garden of Eden due to their disobedience to God. By getting removed from the Garden of Eden, they lost their immortality. As a result of this, mankind has inherited the death sentence through Adam and Eve due to their sin and transgression against God. We have inherited their sin nature. This is why if you look at children, you don't have to teach them how to lie, steal, cheat, and manipulate. They already know how to do this. Sin is literally in our DNA. But I want to make one thing clear. I don't think it's a bad thing for us to study medicine, nutrition, and technology to slow down the aging process, prevent diseases, or to improve the quality of life. I'm actually all about trying to be the best version of myself physically, mentally, and spiritually. But all I'm trying to say is that a lot of people want to live forever in this sinful fleshly body so that they can continue to live in sin. I personally think this is why God removed the tree of life from our reach and kicked us out of the Garden of Eden. But that's for another video in the future. So in conclusion, do not fall for the counterfeit version of immortality that Satan presents to us. God has given us access to the restored Garden of Eden. All we have to do is hold fast to Jesus and believe in Him. The Bible even says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. I hope you guys liked that video. Please like and subscribe. Peace.